What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. Let's start off with this 2019 Mercedes GLE 43 AMG. I would love to know what happened to this. I'm kind of, I'm going out on a limb here and I'm thinking it was stolen and then spike strips. That's my guess. Take a look at how these tires have just, I've never seen this before. And the thing is, it's not just this tire. I think all of the tires look very similar. They have just kind of mushroomed out. These are Pirellis. That took some work. That took some effort. Obviously back here, things aren't looking, uh, things aren't looking very good back here either. The wheel has completely come off of the inside of the rim. Now this outer face here is completely detached and separated. Take a look in there, you can see the rest of it. And that's that's all the way, guys. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I think somebody was supposed to stop and they didn't stop. And it looks like we got the same thing going on over here. Wow. Oh, the amount of damage. This is, this is wild. All my years doing this, I've never seen one that looked quite like this. Uh, by Turbo, Formatic. What a shame. Okay, well, I'm going to assume we might have some airbags blown when we look inside this car. Well, maybe not. Really? No. I don't see any bags blown at all. In fact, it's actually really nice inside of here. It's a really nice place to be. All right. Well, the question is, does it still run? Uh, I heard some beeping, so I'm assuming it's got, yeah, yeah, it's got power. Well, let's climb in. Don't forget your key. How many keys does it come with? It comes with one key and it's that old school Mercedes key, really? In 2019, they're still using this old key. Wow. All right, let's fire it up. Key not detected. <laughs> I didn't think so. What's interesting is it said, please do not forget your key. And now it says key not detected. No, nah, it ain't having it. Now, if I remember right, this pops out like this, and then you can take your key and physically put it in. There we go. Oh wow, no brakes. That that could have been what happened right there, guys. <laughs> this is, come on. No, there are no brakes at all, none. So I'm curious to see if this thing is going to raise itself up. Uh, I got a hunch the air suspension is trashed on this. So you can push this up button. It's flashing. I don't know if it's gonna do anything or not, but uh, we'll see. We'll give it a few minutes and then we'll go back outside. We'll take a look and see if, uh, if she came up off the ground for us. Obviously, uh, we have a brake light on because there are no brakes. Traffic sign assist is inoperative. Traction control inoperative. Stability control inoperative. <laughs> Check brake fluid level, you think? Yeah, it says the car is rising. I've been too busy looking around in here to see uh, whether it's doing anything or not. I haven't been paying attention. Now that's the key that looks like it should have come with this car. That key right there looks legit. This key right here looks super old. I like this. I really do. I like this thing. This is not too shabby. What is this? Oh, just a ashtray. And then you got a cup, cooler, or heaters? Yes, please. I want my drink cold. No, I want my coffee hot. How about that? Man. I need one of these in my life. What do you say we go outside, guys, and take a look at the active suspension? What's the mileage on this thing? I guess it doesn't tell you. Thank you. No kidding, 38,000 miles. That's it. All right. I don't think she can. 
I don't think she came up off the ground, guys. No. Uh-uh. She she hasn't moved. Well, the front did. This this one did. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is great. What a shame. Uh, this side is trying, but it doesn't seem to be working very well. And the back is not doing anything at all. Uh, I'm sure the whole air suspension on this car is probably trashed. I'm going to give it a few minutes, though. I'll shut the camera off, and uh, we'll give it a few minutes to see if it can bring all four corners up off the ground. Let's pop the hood before we do that, though. And uh, let's take a look at what it's working with. Because I think, and I could be wrong, but I think this is a... Uh, like a turbo straight six? I, I don't remember. Let's take a peek under the hood here. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Is that a V6 or is it a straight six? You can hear that compressor just going to town. I'm pretty sure this is a straight six. Like I said, I don't know though. Mercedes changed the game, you know, somewhere around this era, 2019, 2014, 16, I don't remember. But somewhere they changed everything. The numbers are all different now. They don't mean what they used to, so it's a little confusing. I think the front did, I think the front came up. It did, the front looks like it's up. The back just it ain't gonna happen. Let's pop this hatch real quick. Is there a, uh... there we go. Listen to that exhaust. That actually sounds really good. That sounds nice. I think I hear air leaking on this side over here. It sounds like just pumping air out of the suspension. Look at all the room back here too. Spare tire, yes. Wow. Close, come on. Uh-oh. Oh, is that not the close button? That's the close button. I'm pushing the lock button. Wait, 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 wait. Did I lock the car? Okay. <laughs> you can close now. Sorry. I freaked out, man. Last thing I want to do is lock the keys in the car. Well, obviously, <laughs> the compressor is cooling, is what it says on the dashboard. Obviously, uh, the air suspension is not going to come up. Let's put it in Sport Plus mode. And let's see if that changes the exhaust. We'll turn that off. We can cancel that. God, that sounds good. That sounds really good. I'd love to put it in gear, but obviously four flat tires, air suspension not functioning, and uh, no brakes. That sounds so good. All right. My question is, if we put this piece back in, will it go back to starting? Or will it, uh... Nah. Key not detected. You've got to put the key in battery or something must be dead in it. Well, there you go. I'm sure the suspension is going to sink back down pretty quickly. I like this. I really do. This thing's pretty cool. This is something I could see myself driving. It's big enough that it feels like you're in a bigger vehicle, but it's still small enough. You should have no problem parking it or anything. There's plenty of room, plenty of creature comforts on the interior. I'm surprised, but I actually like this a lot. I'm kind of curious what one of these go for at the dealership. Next, let's take a look at a 2013 Dodge Charger. It looks like it wasn't in that bad of a wreck, right? No big deal. It looks like it just needs a bumper and a hood, a grill. No biggie. Let's see what else we got. Oh, it's missing the back bumper too. That's all right. We can put a back bumper on it. Yeah, see? No big deal. An RT. You got the 5.7 Hemi. Why the windows are left down, I'm a little confused, but okay. Now let's take a little bit closer look at the damage to the front, see what all is going on. Obviously, it ran into or under something, and something definitely went over it. Uh, just a tad bit of damage to the radiator and the condenser. Not too bad. Minor damage. Looks like it may have uh, drove up over something. Uh, maybe a little bit of damage down here. Just a, just a tad bit. It's just metal. It's no big deal. Easily fixed, guys. Easily fixed. I'm kidding. That does not look good at all. It's listed as a non-runner. I'm guessing. Maybe. Oh. Did someone steal the key? They did, didn't they? They did. 
not again. God, this is becoming a, an epidemic out here. You know what I mean? Uh, looky here. Here's the strap that was wrapped around the steering wheel. And take a look at this. This is great. This is great. Right here. Look, you can see where somebody broke it. They didn't cut this. They actually bent it. You can see how bent up this is. They bent it up and broke it. Oh, but you know what they missed? <laughs> There's a key right here. There's a key right here in the cup holder. This may have come with two keys and the, uh, the person that brought this car in may have missed that one. Uh, there's a key. So let's see what it does. Are we getting nothing? No, nothing. It does It doesn't even try. It doesn't click. No, it does nothing. Well, that's a shame. Well, maybe whatever they drove over got into the oil pan, but I don't even hear the starter trying to click on. Like, I, I, don't, I don't hear anything from this car at all. Let's see if we can pop this hood and take a look. See what's going on down here. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, it's into the crankshaft for sure. Well into the crank. Oh man, yeah, that's that's a problem. Let's see if it has oil. Oh, it's got oil, all right. This thing may have sucked up water. I'm thinking maybe the front end of this car ended up deep into something. Well, that's a shame. Can't win them all, guys. I was uh, I was actually interested in this one, but I think they got it right. It's a non-runner, so. Let's move on. Now, in one of my recent videos, I was literally talking about a Dodge Neon and a Chevy Cavalier. And this is exactly the Cavalier I was talking about. Now, I remember it in this color of green because my girlfriend at the time, God, it was 1994, 95, I don't remember. I was really young, but it was the first generation of this body style, Cavalier. <coughs> Excuse me, and I remember, I'm, there's so much dust out here. I remember when I saw it in this green color, I just loved it. Now, it was a four-door. This one's a two-door, but just all of it was so crazy to me because from a design perspective, take a look at it. It's a little confusing if you had never seen something like this before. Back in the day, cars were square. They were rectangular. This came out, and look how curvy it is. Look how it flows. The body is not jagged and angular. Everything flows in a curve. Same thing over top. Nice curve. Then the roof. Curve big curve it's just curvy everywhere but but you get to the front end and they start going into these angles look at the sharp angles on the headlights the corner lights the turn signals the grill even the hood itself comes to a point the bumper to a point it is a really unique and interesting design for its time because of how aerodynamic and angular it was. See, the Dodge Neon was all round. It looked like a, an oval on wheels, and everything on it was round or oval. This car is round but angular, and I thought Chevy just killed it on this, man. I was like, I love this generation of Chevy Cavalier. Uh, wow, shout out to my ex-wife's uh, mother for sure. Vicky, I hope you see this video. You remember this car. She had one. She had one just like it. Not quite sure what happened to the window there, but it has uh, it has gone away. It's a manual transmission. Oh, wow. This thing is a hunk of junk. Good Lord. What a turd. I want it. Here we go. Somebody stole the key, didn't they? No. Oh, oh. There's something dead in here. And I'm not joking. Not joking at all. The keys in the ignition. Yeah, there's something. Something's dead in here. Oh my god. Listen. Whew. Yeah, there, there's something very dead in that car. Whether it's in the trunk or under a seat. No battery. We're going to try to start it. Against my better judgment, I can't help but kind of be taken back by this car. The smell, though, the, the the maybe that's why somebody broke out the window. The smell, it's uh, and look, you see little like raccoon paw prints going all up here. So something's been climbing in and out of this car. Something's dead in here. Oh wow! 
yeah let's pop the trunk um, I'm gonna open the other door and try to get some airflow through here before I go any further oh god oh god oh god really there's rotting flesh rotting meat in this car there is there is literally rotting steaks there's things moving in these bags tons of meat uh Wow. Oh man. Mm -mm. And now there's these giant flies flying all around it. <sighs> I don't want this car, man. Uh, it's it's a hunk of junk. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna mess with it. I was going to. I was. Even with the smell, I thought, you know, I can deal with it. But no, now that I know what's in there, can't. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't make me freaking puke can't do it can't do it anyway <sighs> shout out to the old school chevy cavalier man i've had a lot of people asking about the dodge shadow they've seen it in videos where i just walk by they're like do a video guys we did a video on this we, we've done videos on this car unfortunately it, it seems like they're just not they don't want to get rid of it i don't know it's a donation and it's been here for months and months and months and it just never seems to go up for sale so i don't know what to tell you i'm waiting on it to go up for auction too because that's a car that i want very very badly um we're gonna just kind of walk around see what else we can find oh uh, here's the daytona hold on here's an old oh well <laughs> it figures it figures as soon as i see something i'm interested in it's always going to be smashed up this one smashed pretty oh wow yeah yeah, no, that's uh, that's not something I'm going to be taking on. I could tell you that. Let's just see what else we got. I see an F-150 over here. Looks like it's lifted. Got some big wheels on it. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad, which means the other side is probably smashed. What is it, a 2012? 2010? It's a 2013. Actually, she don't look too bad, guys. What is this doing here? Fuel wheels? Oh, yeah. See, I told you. I told you because I'm interested in it. Bam. There it is. Yep. Platinum, of course. That's fine. There's more cars out here, guys. It ain't the only one. But I'm, I'm telling you, every time I see something that I'm interested in out here, it never fails. I get up to it and it's completely smashed. So, moving forward. Nice Ford with bumper stickers everywhere um i saw a mercedes there it is the whole front smashed of course <laughs> a buick regal turbo entirely smashed in the front as well see what i mean guys i can't win i can't win chrysler pacifica completely crushed yeah they keep moving this truck around my my chevy dakota this thing keeps getting bumped around, but unfortunately, it's not going up for sale either. I don't know what the deal is. I'm waiting on that one too. That's another one that I really want to get my hands on, and uh, they don't want to sell it. So, oh, somebody's going crazy. Good Lord. He just put the pedal to the metal, man. Floored it. And just let it go. That's, I'm sorry, but uncalled for, unnecessary. You don't need to be doing that, smashing on these cars like that. You know, you could rev them up, that's one thing, but like flooring it, letting it bounce off the rev limiter? Nah, man. That's all right because one day, I swear to you, one day between the keys being stolen, people coming out here and just abusing the cars, one day they're gonna have enough. And they're going to say, no more. Y'all ain't allowed out here anymore. Until then, I'm going to keep making videos. All right, here's a little BMW. What do we got over here? A Jeep Liberty. I know better than a Jeep Liberty, but this may be a donation. Start, run, and drive. Hail damaged. I swear, I don't really want another Jeep Liberty. 
No, this one's trashed on the interior too. Skip that. Let's go over here. Look at this BMW. This is from a used car dealership. It's 2008 X5 with the 3.0 SI. I think that S is important because it's got like a sports package, right? It's got good tires. Doesn't look too bad. Looks like it's been th run through an auction a time or two. A little concerning. It's clean. It doesn't smell bad. And I guarantee you she got a few miles on her, but this isn't too shabby. <sighs> I love the X5. I really do. Huh. Does it uh, dead as doornail? Yeah. Got two keys. Let's pop the hood. Generally speaking, when I uh, find something like this sitting out here from another car dealer, I tend to avoid them. I like purchasing from the insurance companies. With an insurance company car, you pretty well know what you're getting. When it comes from a dealer, yeah, it's a little more questionable. You don't really know what's been done to it, what's going on with it. With the insurance cars, though, usually it's like if it's hail damage, it's hail damage, and it runs and drives. It's, if it's wrecked, you can see what's going on with it, but it most likely ran and drive before the wreck. With something like this, it just leaves you kind of sitting there wondering exactly why it's here. It's got some gouges, obviously. It needs a little bit of cleaning. Headlights need cleaned and polished up as well. Aside from that, though, it looks good. Let's throw a jump pack on it and see if it runs. Well, we threw the booster pack on it. Might as well see what it does. I've seen this thing sitting here for quite a while, so obviously it's not selling. I like the fact that it comes with two key fobs, though. Let's just see what it does. It does nothing? What? What is going on here? Oh, do I have to put the key in? Yes. Oh. <laughs> nope. That sounds like head gasket to me. Little to no compression. Could be a uh, timing chain. Dang. Oh, I've seen this thing sitting out here for a while. All wheel drive system faults as well. Yeah. Dang, man. I was hoping it'd at least run. No such luck today. Now out of the corner of my eye, I don't know how I passed this up, but there's a Geo Tracker sitting here and I missed it. Now it's too wrecked for me to have any interest in it. What does this mean? BMF is this is a big mother is what I'm guessing um, she's trashed like it's done this it's a wrap for this thing but still pretty cool to see one of these old uh, old trackers sitting out here let's see what else we got I, I'm passing on the Jeep Liberty guys can't I can't do it I like this CTS though I love the color of those wheels this CTS looks very similar to my ELR I keep saying I need to make a video about the ELR because I got a, I got a story when it comes to that car, and it ain't a good one. Uh, so stay tuned. If you see a ELR video, you might want to click on it because I think you'll find it entertaining because it means that it's going to cost me a lot of money. Wow, this does not look bad. I mean, it's not a CTSV or anything. It looks like it had some minimal front end damage, a fender, front bumper, headlight assembly. I don't see any real damage in the pocket here or anything. Fender apron looks good. The A pillar looks good as well. It almost looks like somebody had started doing some work on it maybe. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. 2013 CTS Coupe. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of the 3.6 liter. Um, either one of them, whether it's the twin turbo or the naturally aspirated, not the biggest fan. Um, honestly, I'd rather just hold on to my ELR and drive the hell out of it. Uh, may not be as fast, but in my opinion, it looks, well, it looks the same <laughs> as a CTS. I don't have very much into it and it's a pretty unique car with low miles. So, oh, look at this, look at this old Ram back here. Can we just take a minute to appreciate this? An old Ram 1500 with the Magnum V8. Oh, it's, yeah, it's tore up, man. Dang it. Look at the running boards, the sport wheels. Yeah, it's a sport package. Man. Got the big dual exhaust pipes coming out the back. Fender flares, the works, man. I love this thing. It's, it's rough. This is, this is in really bad shape. 
like it's it's in oh wow yeah what a shame man I hate to see good old trucks like this sitting here in this condition uh, used and abused man I mean just trash I wonder what the miles are on this thing it's a Laramie SLT there ain't nothing left of that seat mileage though you got to give the old girl credit 299,654 miles and it's got power <laughs> the steering might have a oops where's the key I think there's a little slop in the steering wheel guys uh-oh uh-oh there we go take a look at the steering just a tad bit of slack of the steering there <laughs> it still fires right up <laughs> that's great man that is great this is an insurance car i kid you not somebody filed an insurance claim on this and totaled it insurance company didn't give him but a thousand bucks for this i guarantee you. if that if that wow <laughs> spider webs all over the controls good lord i love it i do i love it sounds good <laughs> the window works oh wow that window does not work air conditioning let's uh work through the spider webs here i heard the compressor no way man oh wow no way the ac works brakes it goes forwards it goes backwards oh wow yeah i hear the compressor cycling so she sure is trying she sure is trying i gotta pop the hood on this guys uh, i can't help it as far as does the ac actually work there it is yes yeah it's getting cold wow <laughs> that's, uh, that was unexpected that's what i'll say that was that was unexpected i uh i didn't think for a minute this thing ran not quite sure what happened to her but it looks like something's going on with the suspension on this side she's angled pretty heavy down something's going on with it uh let's see what's going on under the hood wow, it actually looks pretty good no kidding a little 5.2 liter 318 with cold air conditioning 300,000 miles and this thing was still cruising down the road fires right up wild man well let's see what else we got out here we're getting to the end of the end of the road here um what is this hold on is that a diesel no that's a that's a si again a lot of times you'll find the uh the donated cars for whatever reason they seem to put a lot of the donations right here in this little area so i'm always on the lookout you guys know i love my donations my pedal cars those are my favorites a little ford taurus doesn't say much about it car donation yeah so this is a charity this one's kind of smashed up though i wouldn't i wouldn't be interested in that here's a what is this a little toyota corolla yeah a little toyota corolla man automatic though i'd love to find one of these with a manual transmission camry that's a pedal car i don't know what this one is this looks pretty nice though is this another uh this is pedal again i mean it's got some paint peel but 2007 ford escape yeah it's a little it's a little that's a little rough i don't know i'm gonna pass on that guys i think we may be about done honestly unless i find something else that i just gotta have how about a trailblazer with some custom wheels i'll bet that's a donation or a pedal car as well i actually kind of like the wheels on this that's not too bad moto metal is it smashed yeah a little bit it's an insurance car you got a civic back there a bunch of smashed up stuff here a buick if it wasn't uh oh wow what happened so it was already wrecked because it's got a blue bumper the rest of it's gold something happened to the suspension the fender something went right through that windshield 
and the back yeah <laughs> something happened back here too pass on that guys unless you see something else I think I'm done. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing y'all again very soon in the next one.